This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this exercise, we're going to take a look at working with the timeline. And to get yourself started, I need you to open the timelines panel .fxp file located in your exercise folder. And when it opens, you'll see that it's where we left off in the previous exercise. Now, the timelines panel in Catalyst is a little bit different from what you may be used to. To open it, all you have to do is just come down here and just double click on the tab, and it opens up. And the timeline does not look like anything that you have used either in Flash or anything that has a timeline, actually. What you gotta do is to just wrap your mind around the fact that the timeline affects what happens between states. As we move from main to image, things happen. In this case, what we've got is a whole bunch of stuff fading out and maybe even moving. Now let's take a look at exactly what that looks like. So just test the movie, Command Return or Control Enter. And the movie will pop up in the browser. And if we click on the Go button, it just pops right into that image. Well, that's a little bit abrupt. Let's try and fix that. Now how you can do that is by smoothing out the transition. And to smooth out a transition, all you need to do is come down here and just click on this button right here. And you notice that your transition now expands out to one second. And you can see that all the transitions are here. You can move, it can fade in. And if I just make this a little bit bigger, you can see. And you'll notice that the button, for instance, will fade out over one second. Now, if you want the button to fade out over two seconds, all you gotta do is just grab that little tab or the little handle there and just drag it out to the two second mark. If you select the pop down, you can actually change the transition or the smooth transition options simply by doing it by the numbers. You can just click OK here, this is fine. Another place where you can actually do it is right here in the properties panel. You can set the duration and how long it will wait. So if I have a delay, say of one second, and I want it to fade out over one second, and I hit the return key, you notice that that tab moves over to the one second mark. Nothing's going to happen for one second, then it's going to fade out over two seconds. Now, if you want to see what all that looks like, all you have to do is just click this little play button right here. If you click it, you can see that it just fades in and it pops back because that's just, you know, the nature of the timeline. The timeline loops, so you always go back to where you are. The other thing I need you to pay attention to is over here. Notice that there's a main to image, so that tells me that this transition is going to occur between main and image. Now, if I want to go between image and main, you see that it reverses the order. We're going to go from image to main. We're going to go from here to here. And if anything happens, it's just going to be a quick transition. So let's go back to the main to image. And you notice that that little green dot there, that tells you that you've changed things. So let's take the fade out here and we'll take it back to zero delay. We'll just have it back to the default. And now if you test the movie, watch what happens. Command return or control enter. It'll build it, open up the browser. There it is, and when I click the Go button, you notice it's a much smoother fade out transition. So that's what the timeline panel does. It just basically handles what happens when you move between states. Now it handles a lot of stuff, but the easiest place to start. Just remember that you start at zero seconds and you can go as long as you want. If you want to take a deeper look at the timeline, you can just slide this. And if you just want to see what your transition looks like, just click the play button. In the next exercise, what we're going to take a look at is moving stuff around. Have something move from one point to another when a button is clicked.